Hey everybody, Mark here again with yet another tip for making the internet work for you. That's, that's what we do here at Clearing the Cloud. And what we're going to do here today is sort of a variation on something that we've done before. It's an automatic emailing out of, of a document or, or really any kind of file as an attachment. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Dropbox. That's an online file syncing service. And we're going to use our old friends If This Then That. Now Dropbox is, like I said, a, 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 a file syncing service that you can use to sync files up to their cloud and also back down to any other computers that you have. And, and we'll, we'll go over a little bit of the functionality of that. Um, I'm sort of assuming here that, that you've already got a Dropbox account. If you don't, it's really easy to get one. You just go to their website, uh, dropbox.com, and uh, sign up. It's, it's, it's quick and it's easy. If, uh, if you're in the mood and you actually want to go back to clearingthecloud.net and use the link off of there, uh, they'll actually give me some extra space on my account, so I would appreciate that. Um, this also, I'm also assuming that you've all already got an If This Then That account. Uh, there's another video that I did for setting that up, and I'll have links to that in the show notes. Uh, so right now, let's go ahead and get started. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to first uh, activate the Dropbox channel on if this then that so we'll go to channels there and click on Dropbox and activate now I'm already logged into Dropbox if you're not logged into Dropbox it will come up and and ask you for your login information and what you need to keep in mind is is that this login information is going to Dropbox it's not going to if this then that so you don't have to worry about somebody else having having your your ID and password for for Dropbox Dropbox will just sort of send them a little hey it's okay um, to, to use this because they did log in over here and uh, everything will be cool so you, you you'll get a login and then you'll get this allow screen so I'll go ahead and click on allow and now the Dropbox channel is activated. So what we'll, what we we'll want to do once the uh, channel is activated is go ahead, go ahead and create a recipe. So we'll do if this, which will actually be Dropbox. Now Dropbox has both triggers and actions. So a, a lot of people have uh, automatic um, uh, downloads to Dropbox of, of pictures from places like Facebook and things like that. There's all kinds of things you can do with it, not just this. And, and we can uh, talk about that in future videos. But for right now, what we want is a new file in your public folder. We'll do uh, the subfolder. We'll just go ahead and do if this, then that and create the trigger then that now what we're going to do is we're going to use Gmail to send the files out so we'll go ahead and do send an email and in this case I'm gonna have it send it to the other email address for clearing the cloud now this is not something that you want to send an email to if you want to send me an email send it to clearing the cloud at, at gmail.com and we'll go ahead and leave these um, as sort of as they are, uh, you, you can actually change these and, and have them say whatever you want. Um, but you can see it is getting the file attachment and everything there. So we'll do create action. And my description is Dropbox to email. So we'll get that in there and do create recipe. And it's churning and churning and churning. So what we we'll want to do is we're going to, going to go ahead and check this. And it's not triggered. And you'll see, now what it's done is, is it's created a public folder here. Now at, at Dropbox, they used to have this idea of public folders and you could put things in your public folders to share them. But now they've expanded that to your entire Dropbox and you can share anything even outside of that public folder if you want to. So they've, they've sort of deprecated the, the public folder. If you sign up for an account now, it won't be there. But 
if this then that will create the public folder for you if uh if you need it and you can see they've even created the 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 subfolder if this then that now the way you get to to, to look at your dropbox is and and this works on windows too except it'll be in the lower right instead of the upper right yeah, you, windows users you know where i'm talking about so you can go to dropbox folder and you can see the public folder and the if this then that folder that it's created so now what we want to do is we want to send a file so i will go ahead and take this meeting minutes that everybody should recognize um, i'll just talk about that date again that's an awesome date and we'll drag that down to that folder and see what happens now if if you look at there for a second just for a brief second there was a, a little blue uh sinking symbol there and right now it's a green check mark that means that that if this then that or dropbox rather has it on their server and we can confirm that by going to look at here's the home you can see the public folder if this then that and meeting minutes and this is this is the dropbox website so you can see things uh sync up pretty pretty real time pretty much real time um you of course have to be connected to the internet for this to happen but now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have this check again well we don't have to it already happened there you go so you can see that it did send uh send the email with the meeting minutes as the attachment and there's that date again boring names lots of latin so now there, there, there are, are plenty of, of use cases for this outside of just sending out meeting minutes to a bunch of people. You know, you, you could have uh, some sort of log files automatically move to a Dropbox folder so they get emailed on, on, on a, a, a regular basis. You could have uh, uh, alerts in the form of text files that get created done so then that way you get the alerts into your email box. They're, they're, they're all, like I said, all kinds of, of, of uses for this. So I hope that, that you can modify this in some way and, and use it to save time for yourself. So until next time, I will see you later.